Hi, I'm Tavleen Kaur and in this video, we're talking about how to track purchase events for your upsells and downsells using Facebook Pixel. Well, now, if you are advertising on Facebook, you're also pixelating your users. Well, this basically means you are tracking and sending their data about their interaction with your website over to Facebook so that you can create custom audiences and then target them better with your Facebook ads. And to be able to do that, you are using a plugin like Pixel Your Site or Pixel Caffeine or WP Facebook Pixel or any other plugin that helps you track and send data over to Facebook. Well, now these plugins actually help you track events, events like page view, add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase events. Now, as long as you do not have upsells and downsells in place, well, things were going on perfectly fine. So the data was being sent on to Facebook and the Facebook pixel for a purchase was probably getting fired on your thank you pages. But when upsells and downsells come into the funnel, that is where the equation slightly changes. Well, you also want your purchase events for your upsells and downsells to be sent over to Facebook so that you can track your ROAS or return on ad spends better. Understanding this challenge well, Upstroke One Click Upsells actually offers you a very deep integration with the Facebook Pixel. Well, so it actually allows you to track and send data about your purchase events over to Facebook. Now, this means that uh, all the data regarding the purchase events will now be tracked and sent by Upstroke. It has the inbuilt functionality to do that. In order to be able to activate it, you first need to disable purchase event tracking in whatever pixel uh, pixels plugin that you are using so it could be pixel your site or pixel caffeine you simply need to disable purchase event tracking over there and enable it in upstroke uh, well now your obvious concern would be that what happens in case where there's no uh, you know upsell funnel associated with my product so uh, let's say a particular product was purchased and there were no upsell offers associated with that product will upstroke still fire the pixel well the answer is hell yes because it takes end-to-end -end responsibility of uh, the purchase events on your website therefore it will do it for your main purchases as well also after you've enabled purchase event tracking in upstroke and right after the user clicks place order on the checkout page upstroke will hop on into the driving seat and take care of the purchase event tracking for you also now let's just go behind the scenes and let me show you how this actually works in flesh and bone and I'll also show you how Upstroke sends a very enriched pixel onto Facebook so that you have a lot of data points about your users. All right, so as uh, step one, you should have Facebook Pixel Helper installed. It is a Google Chrome extension which helps you validate your pixel. Uh, it basically means that it helps you check whether your Facebook pixels are being fired correctly or not, right? So that's step one in the process. As a step uh, two, you should actually have uh, whatever pixel uh, tracking plugin that you're using, you must disable uh, the purchase event tracking from that plugin, right? And as step three, just head out to Upstroke and further go into Global Settings. And from there, you should go into Tracking and Analytics. As you can see, this is Facebook Pixel Tracking. So this is your Facebook Pixel ID. You will be able to get this Facebook Pixel ID from your Facebook Ads account. So just go there and copy that Facebook Pixel ID and copy uh, paste it over here. If you're running multiple ad accounts, then you should be able to uh, get the other Facebook um, uh, Pixel ID as well and then uh, enter it over here, separated by a comma, right? So it's as simple as that. Uh, well, then you've got the tracking events. In tracking events, enable page view event, enable purchase event. So you can tick both of these, right? And uh, then this way that uh, your, uh, your page view event will also get enabled and so will your purchase event, uh, which has already been disabled in the Pixel tracking plugin that you are otherwise using. Now, these are basically optional, but they make your pixel a lot richer. So they help you enrich your pixel, right? You can add town, state and country parameters, the payment method parameters, shipping and coupon 
parameters. So this enriches your pixel and sends more uh, uh, data on to Facebook about your users so that you can track them better, right? Um, so you can actually uh, tick all four of these and uh, a, a more uh, a richer data will actually go on to Facebook in that case. Uh, next up, you've got exclude shipping from total, exclude taxes from total. Now, the only reason why you would want to actually exclude shipping and taxes from your total, from the order total, is because these are the costs that you pay from your pocket and you do not want data about these to go as well onto Facebook. You want to actually subtract these from the order total so that Facebook, when they calculate the ROAS for you, the return on ad spends is actually closer to accurate and bloated figures actually do not get reflected, right? So that is why um, you would like to exclude both these from the order total. And then you've got enable content settings for dynamic ads. Now, dynamic ads uh, are those, if you run them, you obviously understand them. It basically means that uh, Facebook picks up products uh, based on what the user has been browsing and then shows them on Facebook in form of ads. Now, these are mostly uh, carousel ads and uh, based on how the user has been interacting with your products, those products get turned into ads and they are shown to your users, right? And um, what by ticking this, what you're actually doing is that you are enabling content setting. So when your product catalog is synced with Facebook, your Facebook is able to identify which products have been specifically purchased and which products have been viewed by the user. And then it creates dynamic ads around those products which have been viewed but not purchased. And it subtracts those products which have been already purchased. In order to be able to do that, you must have your product catalog synced with Facebook. Only then will this setting make sense. Uh, now, the next option is treat variable product like simple product. In this case, what happens is that you should turn this option on when the product catalog does not include variations. So let's say you've got a, a t-shirt as one of your products and there's a specific product ID for that t-shirt. And this t-shirt has four different variants, black, blue, yellow, and green. Now, when each of these variants have specific product IDs, only then um, does it make sense to uncheck it, right? That's when you do not want the, the variable products to be treated like simple. You want the variations to be accounted for separately. But when these variations do not have their own product IDs, well, then you do want the variable products to be treated like simple products. Now, before I go further into, um, into the other settings, let me actually show you uh, how a Facebook pixel looks with the help of the Facebook pixel helper. All right, so here we are now. Here, as you can notice, this is, a, uh, you know, this is a typical product page. And uh, I must tell you that I have used Upstroke to associate an upsell funnel with it. So I've got two upsell offers in place. I will show them to you. So firstly, this is the product page and this is the Facebook Pixel Helper. And so it is now showing me the page view. So this is one event which has been tracked. It's a simple page view event, right? And of course, uh, until now, Upstroke has no, rule, has no role to play here. Upstroke only comes into picture when the user clicks place order on the checkout page. So this is a simple, uh, uh, this is a simple event which has been fired. Uh, let me now just go and buy this product. All right, so as you can notice, this is the cart page and this is where now uh, we, this initiate checkout pixel has been fired, add to cart event has been tracked, right? So this is what is happening at the moment and it's a $25 product. So this data is now going on to Facebook. This is, con this is the content ID 1256, right? And let's just now go on view cart. Proceed to checkout. 
All right, so now we are on the proceed to checkout. We're now on the checkout page. Now, as you can notice, initiate checkout, this pixel has been fired. This event has been tracked, right? And uh, all this information about uh, the event is actually going along uh, and it is going on to Facebook. So the, so the checkout, initiate checkout, this is the uh, event name. Uh, now let's just go and purchase this product. So let's just say cash on delivery. Now we're going to hit place order and this is where upstroke will take charge. All right, so here we go. So this upsell funnel has been initiated and here we've got this upsell offer which is now being pitched to us. It's a $60 product. Now let us see what Facebook Pixel Helper shows. All right, so now the purchase has been tracked and the purchase event is now being has been sent to uh, Facebook. Now you must understand that it shows uh, you know a, a yellow sign here and says the pixel is not paired with any product catalog. Now for you, this will not be the case. For me, this is a demo site, which is why uh, it is not paired with any product catalog. But for you, it will be paired, so it will show up. Right. So this is this is all the information of about the product which is going over to Facebook. Uh, as you can notice, payment, cash on delivery, uh, user role. Uh, then you've got the category name, currency, US dollars, value 25. Now you must understand that the pixel has been fired for the previous step. So that's how a pixel gets fired. It's actually on a step by step basis because what happens in case the user abandons this page and he just sort of ghosts away. In that case, the pixel will still be fired, right? So it's always fired for the previous step. So all the information that is being shown here is actually for the previous step, which was uh, the order completion, which was the purchase of the main product, right? So this was the product which was purchased. This is the content name. This is the content ID. Now, just to uh, just to show you how the, this why this is being tracked is because we have actually uh, you know ticked everything here so we have enabled um, content settings for dynamic ads which is why as you can notice over here uh, you know this content id is going on to facebook the content name is going on to facebook right so um that is why all of this data is going on to Facebook. Also, we've got advanced matching parameters uh, that are being sent. So the advanced matching parameters are uh, here. Enable advanced matching parameters. Even the general event, which are again, uh, uh, the uh, you know, they are additional uh, parameters which help enrich the pixel. So all of these are being uh, sent to Facebook, right? And um, here we are. So... Um, We've also got the shipping here, flat rate, because here we've ticked uh, shipping here, right? As you can notice, we've ticked shipping method here. So the uh, that is why the shipping information is also going on to Facebook. Even the traffic source. So here again, you've got this option to track the traffic source and the UTM. So if you've added any UTM parameters, they also will get tracked because this has been tick marked here. Right now, let's just go ahead and add this to the order. All right. So logically on this step, what should happen is that the pixel for the previous step would have got fired. Now, this is the next upsell offer in the funnel. Uh, but what this would have tried, the Facebook pixel helper will show us that the purchase was done. It was completed for the uh, for the upsell one. Yes, as you can see, uh, this was the 60 US dollars. This was vitamin D3 omega fish oil. We had purchased this. This was the last upsell. Uh, this was uh, the upsell one that we just said yes to. Right. And this is the plug in upstroke. So upstroke is doing the tracking for you. And you must remember, even if this product had no upsell fund, in place and the product was purchased upstroke will still send data on to Facebook about it right again this is a very rich pixel so all the other information is going on to Facebook as well right so um, it has it does not account for the main product that was purchased the $25 purchase that happened it only accounts for the last step which was the upsell one in the funnel which was a $60 product right so this information is going over there now we can let's say let's say we say no thanks I don't want to take advantage of this offer so we reject this upsell offer 
Now, in that case, we're on the thank you page. And let's see what Facebook Pixel Helper shows us. All right. So it, uh, it, uh, there, there was no pixel fired for the last event, right? It's actually now fired on the thank you page. It's an $85 purchase. And that is what it is showing to us because there was uh, the last purchase did not happen, which is why the pixel did not get fired. So since the offer was, uh, was rejected, therefore the pixel was not fired for that upsell too. It's only the main purchase and the upsell one. All right, so that's that. Now let's look at some of the other options that you have here. Uh, so you can actually select product ID or product SKU uh, to pass the value and content ID parameter, right? So you can choose one of these two and they will be sent on as uh, in the pixel. Uh, then if you want to prefix or suffix something, so for example, in our case, you know, let's say we want to say BWF and then uh, the content ID. So BWF, let's say, is for build through funnels, right? So we want to prefix that. So you can actually do that as well. Add a prefix or suffix here and accordingly, the data will go. Enable general event is uh, what you just saw. It's actually additional data which goes on uh, to Facebook and it enriches your pixel. It uh, sort of helps you uh, make your, uh, you know, build your custom audiences in a better way. Uh, then uh, you can name your uh, general event whatever you like enable advanced matching uh, again as you just saw uh, this was the pixel here uh, you know so you've got all this advanced uh, data going on to Facebook custom parameter set um, event information and then you've got here the custom parameters you've got the event information you've got the advanced matching parameters all right, so after enable general event, you've got enable advanced matching with the pixel. This is very simple. So when you uh, check this box, Upstroke will send customers email, name, phone, address, fields, etc. over to Facebook. Uh, then you've got track traffic source and UTMs. Now, if you've put UTM parameters in your URL, uh, then Upstroke will also be sending data regarding those UTMs over to Facebook. So you will be able to track your traffic sources. Um, now you've got Google Analytics tracking. Uh, again, you have to enter your Google Analytics ID, which you will find from your Google Analytics account, right? And it's a normally UA followed by uh, some digits. So you just have to copy and paste it over here. And then you have to enable page view event and enable purchase event. That's it. Just hit save settings and you are done. All right. So that was the Facebook pixelation video uh, for Upstroke. And I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. There's so many features of Upstroke and Upstroke solves so many use cases that I really cannot, uh, you know, sort of squeeze them into one video. So I will be doing more videos. That is what is lined up for you. A lot of exciting videos coming up, uh, each which will discuss, uh, you know, different features of uh, Upstroke and uh, sort of help you get the most out of this tool so that you can mine gold in, um, in your niche. Um, thank you so much for watching. Do consider subscribing to this channel so that whenever I'm out with a video, you get updated about it and you can watch it and learn from it. Thank you for watching. This is me, Tavleen, signing off.